Welcome to African Horizon. Today I want to look at the situation in Ethiopia with the ongoing war, look at the current situation and also examine the regional implications. So we need to take one thing at a time here. So let's first look at the war and what is going to happen now in the coming weeks. Well, recently the Tigray forces took two cities approximately 200 miles from Addis Ababa, the capital in Ethiopia. Ethiopia is the second largest, most populous country in Africa with a population of approximately 120 million people. Now, the question is, will the Tigray forces and be able to advance towards Addis Ababa, the capital, and take control and force the Abi government to leave office. That remains to be seen. But whether they're going to be able to advance towards Addis Ababa, the fighting likely will continue for at least several weeks or potentially months. Unless the international pressure by the African Union, the United Nations, and other international players uh, will lead to some type of uh, you know, peace settlement or ceasefire or some type of uh, negotiated agreement whereby at least the Tigray forces and the Ethiopian defense forces stop their advancements and their fighting on both sides. That is not the signals we are hearing right now from Addis Ababa and nor from, from the Tigray side. Uh, although both sides apparently two days ago came out and said that they realize uh, that, you know, that a settlement should be reached, but probably that is not going to happen because both sides know that they need to win this. They're, they're basically, there is kind of a serious sum game that both parties feel in the current situation. Uh, the Abiy government and Prime Minister Abiy has been very, very adamant and resolute uh, in, in this war over the last year. And the Tigray forces on their side uh, have been very, very staunch and probably much stronger uh, than the Abiy government thought. They've been more resilient. They have had also probably more outside support. They have been able to withstand the Ethiopian Defense Forces attacks, uh, which have been going on for over a year now. But question now is how long will the war continue? Well, it could continue for weeks, potentially even months, unless we see some type of settlement or negotiated solution or a ceasefire, or if the Tigray forces advance towards Addis Ababa and are able uh, through a series of battles to take control and force the Abiy government to leave office, that may potentially then also change the battle landscape. Again, remains to be seen what happens. Uh, but what is for sure is that this is now creating a much higher risk level in Ethiopia. Ethiopia was such an important country for foreign investments. A lot of large international companies and international investors were really considering and investing in Ethiopia. Uh, but this current situation with this ongoing war and now the recent advancements potentially towards Addis Ababa, uh, even you know, let, made several large companies and countries take out their citizens, uh, but also companies that are operating and investing in Ethiopia are now taking out their employees. So the situation is very serious for Ethiopia and it's likely going to continue for months but potentially also the consequences and repercussions of this war could last for, for some years. However, uh, regional implications, it's important to also consider. So Kenya, uh, being the southern neighbor to Ethiopia, uh, has invested heavily in the Lapset Corridor. The Lapset Corridor is the Lamu Port South Sudan Ethiopia Transport Corridor. Ethiopia uh, now is an important part of the Lapset Corridor because Kenya has invested in building this Lamu Port on the northern Kenyan coastline, where there is now infrastructure corridors stretching from Lama Port towards Isiolo, which is located in northern central Kenya. Now there is going to be a road stretching up towards Moyala on the Kenyan-Ethiopian border. That road is already active. Um, but, but now with the current fighting going on inside Ethiopia, it is affecting somehow the shipments. Nevertheless, Djibouti port has provided approximately 90% of shipments to Ethiopia. Therefore, 
because of the fighting going on in the northern region in Ethiopia, uh, more shipments into Ethiopia are now also coming from Lamu port, uh, which shows that the Kenyan corridor is very important for Ethiopia. However, overall, the, this war situation is, is not positive for trade in the region and, and therefore is also very negative. However, on the Kenyan side, it is important to be aware that infrastructure developments and infrastructure construction on the Lapsid Corridor continues uh, and does not see any effect so far uh, based on the war inside Ethiopia. And on the Kenyan side, there is now an increased focus on a range of investments in infrastructure corridors. Well, the Lamo port is being further developed. They have three berths now already completed, but they want to complete many more. So that is just going to continue in the coming years. In addition to the road developments, the railway developments and the pipeline developments across northern Kenya. So this, you know, these infrastructure developments in, in Kenya are continuing unabated despite the situation in Ethiopia. However, inside Ethiopia, uh, this war and which is going to continue and has been going on for a year now is definitely affecting investments and also potential investors who were considering Ethiopia are now also probably looking towards potentially Kenya as a more stable country in the East African region. Uh, the, the outlook going forward in terms of a long-term perspective, a long-term forecast, I think it's important now to realize that the war is going to probably continue for at least uh, weeks, potentially could go on for months. Uh, but when we come to a, you know, a year or two or three years from now, the situation could be different. And regardless of whether the a B government continues and remains in power, or is there or there's some kind of national unity government, or if the Tigray forces advance at its Ababa, uh, whoever will be in the future government controlling Ethiopia will see it is in Ethiopia's interests to stabilize the situation and to get foreign investments into the country. So I think the, the long-term trajectory for Ethiopia uh, is positive, but I think in the near and medium term, uh, it is a very high risk environment with the ongoing war and we remain to be seen how long it will continue. Uh, but this, I think it's just you know, a balanced assessment of what, what, what the right most likely scenario is going forward. But I think the war will continue for weeks, potentially could last for months, uh, may not last for a year or two years. Uh, but again, it's very hard to say because the situation is fairly uh, uncertain right now. But what is sure is that the Tigray forces are approximately 200 miles from Addis Ababa, but the terrain from that region towards Addis Ababa is this mountainous region. Uh, so it's not necessarily going to just take days for them to come to Addis. It could take up to weeks, potentially longer. It remains to be seen. Uh, but thank you so much for joining and please remember to subscribe to African Horizon. I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you.